So here's the start of the goblin deck. It's a commander style goblin deck, Highlander, except for a mana base, obviously. And I have uh, four sources here of mana. I'm trying to find a truck if I'm going to throw in here yet, so count one of those. Fire Diamond, it got Friction Wind and Recto Signet. Good artifacts include Sensitive Top and Aether Bio. And my three pieces of equipment. Bonus player gets replaced for Jit if uh, mana game allows it. Non Goblins are Darn Cuffin because he's good. Mawcatch because he touches out Goblins. Signal Pest because he's really good with Goblins. Grass Herald because he's really good with Goblins. He in their Goblin King. And Ferocious Dragon because he devours Goblins and deals lots of damage. Um, the Goblin Pile is an assortment of whatever Goblins you have available to you. In Highlander, you need a lot of them. Now, before we get on to the interesting spells, we're going to look at the mana base real fast. Lots of tap lands, because the rest of the mana base is just going to be from mountains. So, just war zone to help out with good stuff. Uh, various effects. Gets you black mana if you need it. Stops guys from blocking. Short uh, boost. And cycle. Which is why these other cycles are in there, because they're good. <laughs> um, Rainbow Veil, if since for some odd reason I only own three City Brass and they're all in one deck, I'm just going to use Rainbow Veil for an EDH. Uh, Tomb of Yurami, because lands are good like that. Uh, lots of tap lands. One, two, uh, three, possible four of them that go for black. I don't like all the tap lands, but they're in there. Uh, filter land plus Sulphur Springs, so we've got Pain Land in there. Uh, if you have access to the godly mana base of uh, the Ravnica Shock land, whatever it's called, plus um, the original, whatever it's called, the original dueling for it. You know, just fix the mana base however you like. This is just um, for myself, a budget player. Um, so just do the mana base as you see fit. Like I said, I got, you guys know I got Jits running Bone Splitter because it's available and Jits are in my white deck, so yeah. So on to the more interesting cards. It's Goblin Bidding, so we have one bidding. Plus the Yogamos Will, so that's technically two biddings. Uh, terminate and go for the throat as re direct removal. Fling for late game win. Reckless Charge because it's amazing, so many scenarios. Midnight Ritual because it's really good. Um, I don't think a lot of players use it, but I personally find it a really good effect, even though it's not Goblin themed. And Double Tutors. Not running any Red Tutors. Uh, the Burn consists of Shock, Lightning Bolt, Goblin Grenade, Burst Lightning, uh, Burn the Impure, Arc Trail, and Galvanic Blast. Um, Graft of War Gear is really good, Skull Clamp is really good. Um, just as a quick rundown of the Goblins, uh, Prospector, Goon, Commander, Smith, Sledder, War Chief, pretty much all the good Onslaught Block ones, minus the Pile Driver because he's too expensive. Raging Goblin, Goblin King, Goblin Brigand. Clark Clan Shaman, because you do have some artifacts to sacrifice to it, so why not? Wong Flunkies, Goblin Cohort, Boros Recruiter, Goblin Taskmaster, Reckless One, Goblin War Buggy, Goblin Medics, Goblin Recruiter, Goblin Lookout, Goblin Matron, Goblin General, one of my favorite goblins, because he was one of the first ones I tried to build a deck around. Uh, Maul Raider, X is another uh, Slayer. Short cutter, so we got like a double non blocky thing going on here. Goblin Tinkerer, <laughs> Zozu, but no Kiki Jiki. Shrieking Mog, hopefully he gets some good hits in. Skirk Fire Marshal and uh, Skirk Drill Sergeant. Now, if you've done the math, you can see that this is not yet quite a hundred cards. That's only uh, almost 50 cards, not counting the lands. I'm not going to have a 40 land mana base, so more cards are going in. It's just i will try to get them all goblin themed. So I'll probably toss in a few more mana accelerators, like I said, a charcoal diamond. Um, where else catches my eye that I think should go in there? I mean, I got, eight, I got 16 non-creature spells. I could probably toss in more of those. Get some random effects in there, maybe throw some enchantments in. But that's how it's going so far. It's just a quick look at goblin bidding style uh, commander or uh, highlander style deck. I really want to make mana base highlander, but I don't have access to enough to good cards, and I hate running proxies. So that's your quick look. I think I actually finish it in uh, two days, but I did. Goblin Bidding Commander. Still gotta find a general for it. All I gotta do is find a black red one. And it's kind of interesting, kind of not. I changed it after I built it last night. And I woke up and I was like, this shouldn't be in there and that shouldn't be in there. And I had to literally sleep on it for a night to discover that I had it wrong. 
So, the newly updated deck list as of uh, a couple of minutes ago, hour ago, whatever, when I finished it. But it's uh, still missing a couple of key components here. It's not quite perfect yet. The lands are not all chosen uh, based on their art. I still have to do that. But as mentioned, the mana base is completely up to the designer. The one thing I insist on was Goblin Wardens. Because it helps goblins. So, without rambling, here we go. Let's start with the odd balls. Raz Herald, X is a Goblin King. <coughs> and a um, Goblin Ringleader. Dark Confidant, because he's good. Rocious Dragon, because he does stuff with goblins. And Signal Pest, because he's good. Mana sources include Rachna Signet, uh, Dark Sailing God, Fire Diamond, Talisman of Indulgence, and Phyrexian Lens, which turns into a Charcoal Diamond as soon as I find other Charcoal Diamond. Because that's a uh, 3 cast cost, 2, 2, 3, 2. I really don't want uh, 2 of those in there. Before we get on to the goblins, we're going to get on to equipment, Grafted War Gear, Bone Splitter, Skull Clamp. Uh, Bone Splitter turns into Jit when you get it. The one enchantment in the deck is Crown of Fury because. If you sacrifice any chain creature and other creatures that share a creature type with it, get plus one plus zero gain stri first strike attempt on the turn. Mini uh, bonus effect there. Good artifacts include Aether Vial and Sensei's Divining Top, because they're good. Okay, uh, removal. We got Gopher Throat, plus Doom Blade, plus Terminate. That should pretty much handle everything you come across that's unkillable, minus Eldrazi and such. Uh, tutors are demonic and vampiric, obviously. Best tutors in the format. Some of them, at least. Uh, Patriarch is bidding because it's a bidding deck. Yogg must will because it's broken. And Midnight Ritual for that odd late game um, scenario. And our burn is Arc Trail, Reckless Charge, Goblin Grenade, Lightning Bolt, Arc Lightning, Volcanic Hammer, Incinerate, and Shock. That's our burn. If we look, we have uh, one, two, Three instance, one, two, three, four, five sorceries. Don't like how the sorceries outnumbered the instance, but uh, if you're going for the removal, you have the go for a throat, doom blade, and terminate, which are all instance. So that kind of evens it out a little bit. I do apologize because the lighting's not the best. I even got the spotlight in here, that's not helping too much. So goblins really fast. Uh, Reckless one, strict fire marshal, siege and commander, park clan stoker. The mini artifact thing I got going. Uh, goblin Matron, Goblin Warchief, Goblin Chariot, Goblin Medics, Goblin General, Goblin King, Zozu the Punisher, Goblin Striker, Goblin Brigand, Goblin Tinker, Sparksman, Streaking Mog, Mog Funkies, Goblin Recruiter, and Goblin Shortcutter. Goblin War Buggy, Crazed Goblin, Goblin Taskmaster, Goblin uh, Slider, Kill Suit Cultist, not Goblin in the name. Raging Goblin, Kirk Clan Shaman, Skirk Prospector, Goblin Cohort, Poros Recruit, and Spike Shot Elder rounds it out. There is the deck. The mana base that uh, I've chosen is a lot of tap lanes and such. Not too much good stuff in there. Um, like I said, Goblin Warren's being the most standable, the one that stands out the most. And the second one that stands out the most is Tomb of Yurami. Because while you're doing all this crazy stuff with your land, you can actually get a dude out of it. So yeah, there we go. If you guys like the commander list, that's uh. Also, Tribal, let me know. Maybe I'll do another one of these decks. Um, hopefully, the next video like this, you'll see what should be gameplay of it. I'm not going to show you goldfish games. Uh, yeah, that's going to do it. Ball out.